tired and emotional and then a sad song comes on. It's not a good combination. <laughs> seems to come and go at times. I think the thing I'm struggling with most just now is um, just like little things just about the shed or you know about lambing time. Just taking a minute to appreciate the shed. How lambing is going. Oh I'd love to show mum this. Show mum how it's going. I would just love to phone mum. Oh dear. Will it ever dry up? Just out snacking the yows and trying to find somewhere semi-dry to put the concentrate feed out onto. But what a mess it's making. I'm, I'm taking five at a time and Dad is taking five at a time in the landy as well. So we're starting to get the sheds emptied, which is a good sight. <laughs> uh, we're working sort of between four fields at the moment, so I've been carting to this one and dad's been carting next door to that one and then I've been doing the one below and then there's been some going to a field uh, behind me as well so just try to spread them out because obviously some of these some of these are four or five days old some of these are just sort of yesterday so um, just try to spread them out so they don't get mismothered or we don't create any more problems for ourselves um, but yeah it's still dry the sun is sort of half out, there's blue sky. Oh, it's nice to see lots of pears going out to grass. This is obviously the first year as well where we have um, like lambed inside as I've said several times. Normally before we used to have the yows um, to lamb in a field and then once we had so many lambed in a field we'd move the ones still to lamb out, leaving the ones with lambs behind. So they were always moving along. So you'd always be moving big batch of yows to fields and then leaving some behind. Whereas now we're obviously filling fields out of trailers. So yeah, it's it's just different, but um, load number, I have no idea of the day. Now that we've gotten all the sheep carted out for today, um, it's now a case of bed all the pens that they've been in. So we've got my dad's cousin is here this weekend um, helping us, so he's flown up from London. Uh, he's been coming for quite a few years now actually, um, so he's always a great help and a good laugh. So he's here this weekend um, disinfecting uh, the pens and then I'm coming up behind with the sawdust and we're just having a wee blitz at it um, just to get ready in case there's another splurge because I've got two lambing at the moment so just try to keep on top of jobs like this so I'm just spreading it out here so we're ready just to run the yows into the pens water obviously there and fresh silage in the buckets oh it's nice to have all the overflow pens empty so all these sheep got shipped out today and we'll leave them up in just in case we do need them but hopefully we won't. Hopefully we'll have lovely days full of blue sky and sun. What a production we've got going today. So we have cleared out all the ones that are to go outside, leaving just the ones that were born sort of overnight and this morning. Um, I've marked up everyone that's ready to go. I've got Davy is carting out in one trailer, my brother and Dad's cousin is carting out in another trailer and my sister is coming behind and she's disinfecting the pens and sawdusting the pens and I'm just waiting to do water for uh, the couple at lambing side just to keep them fresh and yeah what, what a team, what a morning the sun is shining, it is so warm great to get so many lambs outside um, into some sun, get some sun on their backs and uh, Dad's obviously feeding the cattle at the moment as well, so he's doing that. Now this is more like spring.
Davies just away to get the first of the early lammers in. Um, they're coming. We're just going to jab the lambs in the field. So he's got his prattly set up here, and we're just going to take them in, jab the lambs with their ovivac P jab. So that's to prevent against clostridial uh, diseases and pneumonia. So they have to be three weeks old for this. So getting the eyelids done whilst we have a bit of a lull in the main batch. Back out to grass. Not that there's very much of it, mind you. We are desperate for some sun and some heat to get it growing because this is ridiculous. Unfortunately, these guys' mother has passed away. She had acute mastitis. I treated her with everything that I could this morning. But Unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. So these guys, yeah, I know, darling. These guys are now going to be pet lambs. So I'm just taking them across to the pet lamb pen. It's okay, sweetheart. We'll look after you.
Well, from me and my little friend here, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you for the next one.